Someone killed, mutilated, and closed a body. No. You scared? I found the mutilated body Cash was talking about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. The scan of that distinguishing feature is already complete. There'll be more to find. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Barbara. I can use the Batmobile forensic scanner to follow them. Alfred, I want 
the Arkham Knight's name. As do I, Master Bruce. He has presumably chosen that title for a reason. Where do you suggest we start? Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange. And Alfred. Yes, sir. They knew about Barbara. Activate the Batcave security protocol. Don't drop your guard. I've got a horrible bad man. Now you care who I am. Just gotta find me. The Gotham's a big place. There's a whole world between us. I'm ready for you. Talk! Don't make me crack your skull and look for the answers inside. Now talk! The right choice. into the road. Yes, I see it. Similar devices are being planted across the city. I'll investigate. It's a bomb, Alfred. A well-armored one. Oh, dear. In that case, sir, should you really be standing quite so close? I'm going to set up a remote link to the bat computer and hit it with every virus we've got. Once we're hacked in, I can expose the core and defuse it with a controlled explosion. Very good, sir. Though I should warn you that the militia has already deployed a platoon of its unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. Sir, the virus upload has destabilized the device. If you move too far away and lose the connection, it will flatten everything within a 10 block radius. As you predicted, sir, he's trying to defuse the device. The drones you requested have been deployed. We need those bombs in place, Sergeant. There are deterrents. I know, sir. I'll stop him dead. Lost the Rattler! Start talking. I'll tell you when to stop. You want to know about Riddler? I know lots about Riddler! Much obliged. Thank <laughs> you. 
such worthless promises. Alfred, the Arkham Knight's trail leads into Miyagani Island. Lower the Mercy Bridge. I, I can't, Sam. We're locked out. The militia must have hardwired into the transport control system. Find me their access point. Right. Tracing the network traffic, it seems to have all been rerouted to Grand Avenue Station. Then that's where they'll be. I'll proceed on foot and take over their access point. I'll contact you when you're able to lower the bridge. Be careful, Sam. Kingani Island is rife with militia drones and troops. Listen up, man. We control the bridges, but they can and will adapt. Stay alert. Watch the skies. the Arkham Knights Militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network. the Arkham Knight's men taken care of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, right. In all the excitement, I almost forgot. <laughs> you don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a garage bats. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget yes. Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know. It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me! I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already! I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies.
The bat creature's still at large on Miyagani Island. I'm going to hunt it down and take a blood sample, determine who or what it is. Run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. <laughs> How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match. A Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address.